All right, so just filled up at my favorite gas station. We are on our way to do an infinity. Then uh, we got to go take care of a 2012 Kia Sportage. We got a bunch of master keying to do, which I hope that we can get to today. But I also have to go back to that job in Woodridge and install the handle set and the black combination lock for them in that door. And I'm sure more stuff is going to come in here today. It's just miserable. It was icy, really icy this morning. The uh, kids actually had a two hour delay for school. But anyway, let's get rolling and we'll get this stuff started. All right, so we are just pulling in our in on our infinity and we are going to take care of this. Okay, so we're in a Infinity, a 2006 Infinity M35X. We're going to program in a new prox. I did the emergency key, but as you can see, it's pouring outside. So I didn't film that. First thing we're going to do is choose Nissan. I'm gonna put this key in the slot over there. We're gonna agree. Steering lock release. Ignition is off. Yes, we want to buy. There we go. There's our click. Okay, now we're going to back out. We're going to go to program keys. Select from type. Smart key system. Four pin code. I'm going to try type two on this first. Switch ignition on. Okay, our ignition is on. We're going to press OK. Failed to connect. Okay, so let's go with type 2. Program keys. Yes, we want to bypass the pin. Okay, our security light on this is right here. I'm going to turn this key off. get our five blinks turn it off now we're going to step on the brake five flashes starts right up security goes out we're on to the next call I'll be back with you shortly all right so we're just pulling in here with you as soon as we're pulling into the house. All right, so this door is going to be getting a big mortised body in here. And this door is already, is one of those vinyl doors all chipped apart already. So we're going to work with what we have with the cheapest G-Force knob they could find. All right, so of course the customer ordered this. That knob is at two and three eighths. She ordered this for a two and three quarter inch setback to hide the knob so if this thing goes on at two and three quarter you're gonna have you know a half inch over there sticking out of your hole because that's a real narrow body on there you're lucky to cover two and three eighths with that so they're gonna have to reorder parts again all right so this is the door we're working with it doesn't even have the correct hardware the correct hinges these are black everything is supposed to be satin brass uh, I just put this M-Tech in here. The reason I don't use M-Tech is these knobs are always sloppy and they always look crooked to me. See how they sit unless you actually touch them. But close is perfect. And these are on this door. They forgot the roller catches up top. And, but when they're closed, everything's nice and straight. And this door, when this is closed, watch this hinge the whole door just all over the place let me get a better view watch this brand new and of course it hits up top but pretty nice up here and 
uh, I mean, the house is beautiful. So, I mean, this is their dining room. So to half-ass, you know, their stuff is kind of foolish to me. I mean, it's a great house. And then to, I don't know, I don't know, any better workers, I guess. Anyway, um, when they do get the right hardware, we will put this back on here. We'll put it in there, I should say. All right, so once they get the correct hardware for that, door i mean the, the the back set it's just it's it, it's so far back and they order exterior doors with two and three eight inch back sets on an eight foot door on a fiberglass eight foot door it's not even fiberglass it's it's that upvc stuff and you know you're gonna start putting mortise bodies in there and everything else i mean that, that that's a lot of stress you know once you cut a cut in on a door like that on on a upvc door but anyway, once they get the stuff, we'll put it in there for them. But right now we are going to head to South Fallsburg and we're gonna take care of some Kia uh, high security foot keys for the guy. All right, so we're just pulling into the public parking lot. We're gonna catch up with this guy and take care of, yeah, there he is right there, that's Sportage. We're gonna take care of his Kia keys. All right, so this is what we got here. We got bad buttons. Key barely flips out of it. And this one has snapped right off the blade inside. So I'm gonna put both of these in new shells and I'll be back with you. All right, so this key I decoded, came up with K1445, and I'm gonna reshell these now. All right, there we go. There's two old keys and two brand new reshells. All right, so we just finished at Kia. I am, uh, I gotta shoot to right over the, the Sullivan County line into Ulster County. I guess the guy has a storefront door on his house. And I guess he came up from the city and didn't have the key, so he drilled the lock out. And he's been using it for the last couple of days, just I guess with a thumb knob on the inside from what I understand. So we gotta go throw a cylinder in that for him and he also needs an extra car key while I'm there. So I'll be back with you here shortly. It's only about a 10 minute run from here to there. All right, so we just did the key in the house and now I'm just adding a cheap uh, Circle Plus key into his car. Let's cycle him in. That's the security light right there. That one out. Original key. He's good, I don't know about the car. I don't want that run too long. All right. And, uh, okay, so we had to, I just had to change the whole body out of that lock from them, him prying on it, destroyed the whole thing, and just an extra key for his car. Now I'm done here. All right, so we took care of the old guy there. I changed everything. I put a new lock body in it, uh, new cylinder, a new thumb turn, everything. The, the thumb turn was actually cracked inside uh, the, the tailpiece. That pop metal jump just wasn't worth messing with. Changed everything out. He's back up and rolling with that. I did a key to his car, an extra key for his car. And he had a plow truck there, an old Chevy uh, J&H keyway, single-sided. I cut him a couple of keys for that. He's happy. And now we are on our way to Fallsburg. We got a key, in. we got a master key, at least eight of these locks to stay caught up with this because there's still a bunch more that we have to do in the place. And I'll be back with you shortly. All right, so we got to master the outside doors for this building here. It's four upstairs and four down that I know of, unless we run into something else that's here. But anyway, we'll, uh, gonna get set up and we'll get this uh, keyed up. 
All right, so we're just master keying the outside doors. All of these inside doors, all the way down that hallway and around. Closets, outside door, that's getting keyed now. Already put the hardware on it. Uh, this is a couple of just, uh, these are all getting classroom levers on it. This is going to be day camp. We're going to have to do all the bathrooms all the way in there. Uh, classroom. No other doors inside of it yet. Not even electric on this side of the building. It's ready to go. Another classroom. Another classroom. 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 That's just an exterior door. And uh, yeah, the next couple of weeks we'll be putting all the hardware in here. Downstairs, this should be finishing up. All right, so this building, we have the combination lock. I already have that put in here. Upstairs. The panic bar is on this door. Push and pulls are there. Push and pull here. All the bathroom locks are in there. This I didn't put in. This is just something, something I guess the builders threw in. There's a lever on that door. There's a lever there. There's a lever on the other side. I'll show you this. They wanted a lever on this door. I have no idea why, because it just opens to nothing. You can just walk right around it. And uh, the bathroom lever is on there. And we're just master keying the outside doors now. Okay, so these doors here on the exterior are master keyed. They just hit me with another lock that they want me to put in tomorrow. So I'm going to stop back and throw that in tomorrow. The cylinder is already keyed. I'm just going to drop it in. But anyway, I am headed home. I appreciate you guys watching, and don't forget that thumbs up.